Hello, I'm Snickety Thwip, and today I have a horror block. Horror block is a subscription service that you can get a mystery box every month with all sorts of horror themed merchandise from made by 12 year olds in China or some bullshit. Anyways, I didn't subscribe because I'm not a conformist poser like you douches. I gotta grab a block. It's all the leftovers, of all the best horror themed stuff there is. So let's get started. And to do this, to cut deep into the heart of the horror block. We'll need a knife that can cut deep. So here we go. It says, don't open dead inside. Like that's supposed to be some sort of a Joke. Shut up, hell dog! Now, what's inside? See this cartoon looking thing? It's a pop vinyl. Stop it, hell dog! You're ruining my video! Sorry. That's hell dog. And sometimes, when the dark spirit... Stop it, hell dog! Dark spirit comes over her. She just can't help. Our first item is a pop vinyl of the Wolf Man. This looks like it's the Wolf Man from the old Universal Studios black and white horror film. Would be scary if you're a poser conformist, but it's not enough to strike fear into the dark abyss where my heart used to be. Still, it's pretty cool or whatever. There. Let's see what else lies in the shadows of the horror block. Oh, every month they give a t-shirt and the grab blocks were no exception. It's black. I like black. And let's see what's on it. Ugh. It's some printed thing. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not turning on the lights. They hurt my eyes. Maybe I'll take a picture with some lights. I'll put some sunglasses on later. But it's the alien. It's okay. I don't really go for printed stuff. But they always put screen printed t-shirt garbage. They need a goth block. Or at the very least a vamp block. But I like it because the alien kills a lot of people. Sometimes I wish I would. This looks promising. It's a mystery box. Here, I'll get close for this one. Living Dead Dolls. <coughs> and this one says Pink Posy. Which is about as far from black as you can get. But let's see what's in here. shrink-wrapped, but it's pretty cool. Let me show you what we have. Oh, that's metal. Oh, man. Here. You can see her. It's just like it said, a living dead doll. She 
comes with an accessory, a dead rose. I like her. She reminds me of my girlfriend, Othelda. Othelda's not her real name, and her parents don't like her going by it. But she's my priestess, and I love her. Oh, I was talking about that black void that was in my chest and here. Perhaps I'll fill it with this. It's a heart. It says Hannibal on it. Like that poser TV show. And it's a squeeze ball. So you can squeeze the life out of it. I like that. What else is in here? Mega Scalers. Godzilla. Mega Scalers. These things are like little things that you put on your headphones. So when you're listening to your favorite maggot hole mp3 on your phone you can just clip Godzilla right to your earbud wires and he can jam out with you too maggot hole by the way that's the name of my band you should check them out I'll put a link below yeah we're kinda like Nine Inch Nails meets Marilyn Manson meets Guar meets Iron Maiden meets Hootie and the Blowfish. Godzilla. Let's get Godzilla out and take a closer look, shall we? Uh, this kind of packaging is a pain in the ass. It's like they want you to cut yourself. I hope I cut myself. I hope all you posers out there subscribe to this box. Cut yourself too. Conformist nerds. Oh. There we go. And here he is. Not exactly the fearsome hell creature you'd expect. But he's good enough. And lastly, we've got a box of cereal or something. It says Creepy Crunchies Peanut Cutter Crunch. Wait a minute. I know what this is. These are Serial Killer Sticker Cards. I like that. Serial killer. Now the pun is a little bit too cute. You have to bear in mind the goths that put these together, they live in Canada. So they're not quite as nonconformist as the rest of us down here in the States. All right. So you have to kind of put up with their corny jokes from time to time. A hard time opening things tonight. And here we go. Oh, I thought these were cards of real... Uh, of real serial killers. They're not. It's a bunch of stickers of puns. Stupid kid puns. Creature from the Crackling Spoon. The brain that wouldn't die. That's not even a pun. Honey Gut Cheery Ogres. My god. That reminds me of like... Garbage Pail Kids or something. Ugh. Now, our horror block is empty. So I'll get back to listening to some maggot hole 
Hang on, guys. New album's coming out soon. Good night. Make it wet. Make it wet. Do it. Not at all. Not at all. I don't. I don't think the candles are going to give off enough light to do a video. But oh shit! <laughs> I burnt myself. Burn them. Burn them. Burn them. Burn them. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So, how many? How many goths think they? think they like their bedroom bedrooms with mandarin mandarin cranberry from from the yankee candle shop i don't know this stuff's kind of expensive that is mainstream and poser-ish but you know whatever what is this mind frame i, I don't know why i'm doing this I, the make of it People are going to think I'm crazy. Look at this knife. It's ridiculous. What, what's my family going to think if they see this video? Oh, I'm going to be such an embarrassment. I guess I can't back out now. Get the devil. Get the devil. I mean, you know, what if I, what if I forget to take off all this makeup? I, oh okay. I could, I could take it off, yeah, sure, but what if tomorrow I go into work and I still have, like, a little bit of eyeliner left with a black lipstick? Oh, my God. Uh... Hey, you think we can get a sponsorship from Yankee Candles? I mean, we got enough of them. How many, how many Yankee Candles do you think I'd have to light to, to get a sponsorship? Oh, it smells pretty good. Did they do a blind box? Yankee Candle? <laughs>